Courtney, so just, just to recap, you know, we're 450 people uh, across three territories, US, UK, and Canada. We're really excited about what we're doing as a business, and uh, we, we just won an award at uh, HR Tech in Chicago as what the next great HR tech company. Um, so a little bit about LifeWorks uh, is that our, our aim, and just to, to repeat before because there's a technical issue, is to really unlock employees' potential so they can be the best they can be uh, when they come into work every morning and feel really connected uh, and excited. And we have a real mission as a business, and that's to make employees feel loved because, you know, once you do feel loved, uh, in your workplace, it just opens up all of the things that you want to do to engage better and perform and collaborate. And uh, we looked at the four biggest areas, um, and I'm going to show you in a, in a demo uh, shortly the four big areas which cause disengagement. And what we do is we, we've put all of those um, issues in those four buckets, and we've really tried in a digital way to overcome those and drive a totally different culture and, and uh, solution for businesses. So what you'll see today is definitely new in the market. There's no one out there that we've seen who's combined what we're doing to deliver something in a beautiful user experience that we have. You know, we've, we've, we've spent uh, a huge amount of money in R&D in driving a user experience which is that you'd be proud of. So I'm very excited to show you a, a demo. Um, I would, you know, we work very well on mobile phones. We're going to show you a web demo on a, on a desktop as well. So, um, very excited for you to see that. Um, so, just a quick snapshot. Um, you know, we've got 15 million customers already as a business. Uh, most of those are in the U.S., uh, followed by Canada and the U.K. And the U.K. is our fastest growing market, which is very exciting for us. Uh, we really focus in an area of wellness and engagement, and we feel that they fit very well together because it's really hard to drive wellness to employees if, if they're not engaged. So, you know, from, from what we've seen in the market, there's many, many different businesses that have point solutions doing many different things in different areas. But actually, because it's so fragmented and there's so many logins, it causes disengagement. So our big eureka moment was actually bringing key elements together with a user experience which gets people really uh, infused, and that drives engagement. So if you want to drive wellness, you know, it's the perfect segue to do that. So just a few stats. Uh, we have 49,000 clients. Uh, we have 98% retention. Um, and we do a very, very important service in the wellness space in helping uh, with therapy. And I'll show you how we do that. But we do, we have over 20,000 experts. And last year alone, we facilitated half a million counseling sessions for employees to help them. Uh, and I was very proud, you know, the amount of lives we've saved and uh, people we've really helped along the way, so they can, you know, have a better life is 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 really exciting for what, you know as part of a business and what we do. Some of the UK customers we have, um, we have big and small clients. You know, we're not only focused on the largest companies. We've got RBS Boots, Tesco Bank, Marriott Hotels. We're pretty much uh, industry agnostic, um, and you know, it, it's it's uh, our solution works across every every vertical. Um, so. And you know we have a modular platform in, in our development process, so that if certain functionality is not needed, uh, we can turn it off and turn it on and really um, provide a custom user experience. So you know the reason we're here, and what I talked about is the modern day employee. Um, we'll talk about it slightly later in a few other slides. Is is there's needs are chain, changing because you know. Uh, millennials in the workforce are becoming the largest part of a, a work workforce. There's a, a much bigger need for openness. Stress is higher because of credit card debt and all other kinds of things and financial pressures that we have in our modern day world. Um, and you know, it's it's very easy to change jobs, move, and you know, the modern day employees really want to feel purpose and driven by what they're doing, or they move very quickly. So we have a changing workforce who need to be engaged differently. Um, and that's quite exciting because it breeds a huge opportunity, um, and you know this is what we're going to focus on. When we look at needs um, and employee needs, you know we, we we put it down to six things, which is you know certainty, um, recognition, growth, significance, connection and love and contribution. And these kind of six needs are interesting because you look at you know some of the best um, experts in NLP and psychology. And they'll say that under under all of these six, that if if you have a deficient deficiency in any of those areas, um, you know it, it feels you know you feel bad, and it doesn't allow you to to feel that you're um, you know centered. 
So what we've really tried to do when we build our user experience is focus you know, on providing certainty and we do that with our news feed and we have a whole recognition platform which I'm going to show you um, which drives performance management and growth making people feel significant so they can be empowered to recognize people and feel part of something, um, build a social community so you feel the love and connectivity with your team uh, and, and, and that, that share in that contribution. So I'm going to show you how we've done that in our user experience. And you know, what's really interesting before I jump in is that you know, technology in the HR industry today is very interesting. I was quite new to this industry um, and it came from more of a digital uh, consumer background actually and when I was looking at HR technology I just saw that there was a ton of HR companies who or benefits companies doing technology and we thought you know where we're going to be different is we're going to be a technology company that does benefits and wellness so we came at it very differently and we wanted to turn it on its head because we wanted the employee to feel um, that this is for them not just for the company and by doing that you're going to create the real engagement that everybody talks about but don't really deliver. So that was a big, big part of what we did and um, my big philosophy is around this big old argument around point solution versus platform um, and you know there's a lot of commentary about this on the internet but uh, just my view and it's you know I think point solutions are great for some things but when you've got many many things uh, to log into with different usernames and passwords and different experiences um, I was with uh, someone at ADP who said the average in the US is 26 apps for employees to log into, different platforms to log into. And when you have 26 different platforms that you could log into, or 26 different things, or even over five is enough for me, um, you don't have five tabs open and you don't normally do it. What happens is four of them or three of them will probably out of five will suffer and not be used. So what happens is HR, you know, because of budgetary reasons, get to buy things uh, ad hoc because things come up um, and they're not joined together. So that's point solution buying and then they kind of disappoint because they all have different de ways of being delivered to the employee, they all have different user experiences, they all have different logins, they all have different apps or mobile or not and uh, you know we don't have time for that for the average uh, employee. So you do a ton of great stuff and uh, then it kind of gets wasted because there's no opportunity to, to benefit from all of them. So that was a big aha moment where we said we're going to build something which puts everything together in one place which all the big things which you need um, and there's more than one reason to come back and you won't feel that you've got that bad user experience. Um, it's kind of some of the requirements now the millennial generation you know, which is you know coming into is around career development and feedback and work-life balance and coaching, purpose, feeling love, feeling part of the community is absolutely huge and um, Rather than talking about the slide, I'm going to get. I'd rather get straight into the demo because um, you know, I think it's pretty much a lot of intro. And and if I if I get to show you what we're doing, then I think it will be much clearer. So there's two things I want to show everyone on the call today. Um, before I jump in, has anyone got any questions? I'll just leave it a couple of seconds, and if there's any questions, we can start with that, or I can jump straight into the demo. Um. Great. So I'm logging in right now in a in a demo network. Um, it's got some screens here, uh, you know, which are the welcome screens. You know, perks. Um, I'll go back one. This is wellness. So we talked about helping and unlocking potential. So the ability for any of your employees to speak to the best in class coaches, life coaches, counseling and digital resources to be better and everybody needs a coach. What's incredible is that uh, I was at a dinner and I explained this to a lot of people what, what we did as a business by providing coaching and counseling and there was a lot of educated people at the table and uh, a couple of people said, you know, I don't need counseling, I don't need coaching, came up, you know, that's ridiculous. Um, and then I just asked a simple question which is, to all the people at the table, has there ever been a time in your life where you ever needed to speak to someone because there was a problem which was probably bigger than you uh, and you needed to get a bit of perspective and everyone put their hands up? So I vehemently think it's important and most people just don't have access or the ability to get these things on their phone easily. So um, it's a real safety blanket and something really nice to be able to know that you can hit a button on your phone and you could, you've got a coach uh, and a counselor, a life coach, you can call at any time and not be judged anonymously and, and be helped. And there was a big stigma in this industry around EAP and it's only for crisis and you shouldn't use it and it's hard to get hold of. 
uh, we, we don't want that to be the case. We want it to be cool um, and something that is really helpful. So that's that. The, the perks is interesting. That's all part of our financial wellness. And if you can save someone thousands a year, um, you know, our average right now is over £550 a year of saving, which is equivalent of a 2% pay rise. So, you know, that's a really big help. And, you know, this, these are the kind of perks which I'll show you that you can't be, can't be seen anywhere else. The news feed is around community and driving the community. We know that, you know, in the first three months of any job, it's the highest churn rate. And if people don't feel part of something, they, they want to leave. So how do we do that? And the next is around recognition. 70% of people leave their job because they don't feel recognized. Uh, if you can crack that nut, um, it's, it's really key because, um, you know, feeling good about what you do and getting others saying how good you are really uh, drives purpose. And then we have our colleague directory, which is kind of uh, joining everyone together. So I'm saying get started. Um, and I hope everyone can see me. If there's any issues with the screen or anything, please type in. Um, this screen up here at the top is all blue because it's all on purpose that way because you can actually customize uh, what you want. So if you, if you know, your company, your logo, everything will go here. So there's a whole customization where you can actually put what you want in here. So this is the news feed. Um, and you can see at the top here, we split the business into three key areas, work, perks, and life. Um, and, you know, these are the key areas where you can come back to, you, you, um, and there's all those reasons to come back. So I'm going to start with work, which we're in right now, which is a news feed. And we're using this news feed um, in, in a way which is there's everything you want to do will come through here. So it's, it's a re-engagement platform. You could see it as a, as a private social network, but we, what we see is that it's a way for the HR team to be able to share really important things to all their users. Um, it will push a, any kind of message which uh, comes up, which is from HR, which I'll show gets a push message to users. So it's a real amazing communication platform to share all the great things that are going on and recognition. So what you can see is you've got new joiners. Welcome, there's a new joiner as a sales assistant. So you can add a comment. Um, say welcome, um, and by doing that, you know that person feels great for joining, joining the company. Um, you can see here, uh, Helena has been recognised. There's happy birthdays, so I can con congratulate people. No one ever gets, no birthdays ever left, um, and it's all automated. Um, you can see multiple recognition. There's a congratulations here, um, which is awards for doing certain things and milestones, so around performance management, um, and. Everything here is customizable, so I can like a photo, which um, Maisie has um, posted here, um, and the HR team can decide if users can post or whether it can be a company post. So this is a company post, so you can create your own posts, um, which is a CEO message. Um, people can like that, people can add comments, and if you want people to comment or add or like, it's up to the HR to set up the platform to offer it. So everything is is. Um, as you know, scalable uh, and Meccano set as possible. So everything on here is 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 uh, in the news feed. So you can see Happy Fridays. There's drinks tonight. So people are using it as a communication platform, and you can tag and uh, people. So this person gets a tag. They'll get a push notification as well for their birthday. And I can click on that person if I didn't know Francesca, and I can actually. Um, see that she was a, a customer assistance, um, what she's doing, her progress, her achievements, when her birthday is, and I can get hold of her click to call straight away. So um, what, we, what we provide is an easy way to get hold of people, and I can look at posts, company post recognitions, and filter by top performers as well. Recognition is really easy. So you know, uh, I, I just click on recognition. I can choose uh, a colleague. So if I just put uh, D here, and it will bring up all the users, so I can pick Dean, who's an analyst. This is where you get to choose your company values. So, um, you know, we've got a lot of values, but this company has uh, quite a few organized energetic. So this is all customizable with your own custom badges. So I've put energetic, jet energetic and say, um, uh, I've put a little note in here. I can't, I can't spell very well. And once I do that and, and post that, what happens, I can add an image as well, that automatically got posted to the feed and Dean would receive a push message and an email to know he's been recognized. And what's great about that is in the work section we have leaderboards um, and you can see Dean has got his recognition, as he's here and you can see this month, last month, I can actually see who did well. Uh, I was top here because I'm using Leo's account, but you can see who and 
uh, has done well. You can click on to Dean right now from last month, and we can see, uh, you know, his birthday. If he wanted to put it in there, he, what he does, what his recognitions were. So you get a 360-degree view from peer level of what uh, Dean's attributes are against the company value. So in a performance review, it's very interesting because you just get to see a whole different um, uh, world from what your, you know, people feel about you. What's great about this as well is I mean, we, we're a tech company and we've got. Uh, over 100 people on our development team. There are there are a number of developers who are unbelievably talented, but they come in and put their headphones on, like I've got on right now, and they just type away, and you just don't really know how brilliant they are. And what's great is something like on this on this kind of software is that um, when people around them see them, you know, who can appreciate this code, which I can't because I don't I don't know how to code, but and and they type and give that guy recognition, they get to the top, and you, you know they're unsung heroes. These people and they get the recognition they really deserve, and that is huge in engaging a millennial workforce because a lot of stuff goes unnoticed, a lot of good things go unnoticed, and what we do is we bring that to the forefront, It's really and making it easy, so you can pick up your phone and just click and, and do it from one click. It's real time and straightforward, and it's all around the core company values. What's really awesome about that, I'm gonna kick into this later, is this reward section. This is the admin panel. I'm gonna show you that later, but just being able, when someone's top, automatically you want to reward someone, you can click on a button, you can find the person in reward uh, Leo, and I can enter the colleague's name, I, I can hit the, the reward button, I can send a voucher instantly to that user for doing great work, um, and it's instant reward which will come on the phone, and that person can go and use that, that money to, in any of the retailers of, of his choice. So just being able to, to to link reward and recognition so easily with budgets across all stakeholders and being able to, to stage it and actually make it, you know, we, we do automated rewards. So whoever's first 10 in the company this month gets X or Y. So, you know, employee of the month actually becomes real and great and fair. Um, and, you know, people really love it. There's also a colleague directory in here. We won't get stuck. So I, need, I needed this yesterday. I needed to get hold of someone. And I was like, I haven't got their number. And this is really easy. You know, I can click in here. I can click on someone, I can instantly call them, text them, email them, and, and get in touch with someone. So it's so useful knowing that you just have all that information to hand. Um, jumping into the perks, which is Jeff, definitely one of the most busy sections on our site, uh, we've been very different, we've been very tech orientated in what we do, and we've looked at the market and we've tried to provide the best solution out there and user experience. So whether it's shopping online, going to restaurants, gift cards, daily deals, in-store offers and colleague offers, we do everything. Uh, and what I mean by that is if I want to shop online, what we have is, is a user experience where you know you can search for, for products, but we do deals um, with retailers which can't be seen anywhere else. So just for an example, hotels.com, um, if you were to go on to Google or any of these consumer sites like Quicko or even the corporate benefit sites like you know the rewards gateways and all these other sites which do you know benefits, our discounts are normally double that you can see anywhere else. So they're meaningful and people love them. So 16% um, on Hotels.com, which is a very popular one, you know, it's boosted and it's very high. So you, know, you hit get your cash, cash back, it opens up a browser, hopefully the internet connection is fast in here, there it goes. Um, you don't have to do anything, you just book as normal. Um, it works perfectly in the phone and frames it as well. When you've literally uh, finished, what we have is a wallet. Okay, and you know the wallet is 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 here in this section, and what you can see there's no there's, oh there is a transaction in here. You can see that I went to Starbucks and spent ten pounds and got two pounds back, and it's confirmed, and that money just goes straight back into my bank account. It's really easy. You can just put your account details in, and it just automatically um, gives you your money back, and it's just you know on your cash back, and you don't have to work or do anything. And our shop online section is hugely hugely busy. Um, and we have pretty much over 1,000, um, and you can see we've got 1,145 fashion brands alone. So I think you know we've got literally 1,500 retailers. There's very, very few retailers uh, that we don't have, and that includes all grocery brands as well. So you know um, you can search by section or food, beverages, gifts, travel, utilities. So that's a hugely busy section. Um, we also have a whole thing on restaurants, which is, is popular, it's all geo as well, so I'm gonna allow location, and I'm, I'm in Battersea right now, so what will happen is, you know, here it will start whirling away, um, and it's put around the corner in Chelsea, all these great deals, so cash back on dining, this is a really 
innovative opportunity where I can click on the Painted Heron restaurant here, I get cash back for everybody who sits down at the table. So for the six of us, there'll be about £6.60 cash back just for sitting down. I just hit book a table and it brings up a, a booking option. I can book. I can actually get a special deal as well, three courses for 55 plus that deal. Uh, and it automatically plugs me into the booking engine of that restaurant, which means I don't have to do any work. I just get a discount and I just book it. And I turn up. I don't have to show any cards or dining cards or be embarrassed. I just turn up and get huge discounts, which is very, very popular. Uh, we also do dining cards as well, which have 50% off. Um, gift cards are great for us because these are kind of like in store. So if you if you're a big shopper at Marks and Spencers or Tesco and do your regular stuff at Starbucks, you know from one click you can just buy a discount to gift card, which instantly comes to your phone. You can go to a retailer, check out really fast at the till, and just get instant discounts on all of the things that you do on your daily life. We focus on digital as well, so it's fast and easy. Um, and then in store offers um, are codes. So you can see we've got special in-store offers which are around you, Strada, uh, Café Rouge, Halford, so whatever you're doing um, from Body Shop, Vision Express. So I, at the beginning when I st start up the app, I ask me the things I'm interested in. So these will be things which I'm interested in and there'll be deals that you can't find anywhere else, so gym discounts and all kinds of stuff, which is great. The last thing which is the most important for me is the colleague offers. So a lot of companies can actually negotiate their own deals. They want to sell their own product to their employees. Not only that, you know, you can go to a local cafe, um, you can have health benefits, you can do a lot of other things which you're doing for your employees which um, are all scattered around intranets and everywhere else. You could do a lot of benefit schemes. In this, in, in this opportunity, you can upload all of the great things you're doing and put them all in one place. So whether you've negotiated an Apple purchase program or a cooking opportunity or a priority pass or there's other benefits that you've negotiated, oops, they all get put into this area um, which you can fill in and when you click on that, it automatically shows you to visit the website. So if you did a, um, a salary sacrifice scheme, we automatically integrate where you can click on that and it goes out because this is real engagement and this will make that salary sacrifice opportunity so much better because you can use push message to let people know that the enrollment window is open, but they can click through the app. It's all in one place and what we see is we make the things you're, you're doing already much, much more engaging and usable. So whether that be insurance or or like I mentioned, um, salary sacrifice. It's a really powerful way of doing it. Last but not least is our life section. It's our employee assistance section. I wanted to show it to you on a mobile phone uh, because I think it uh, is, is quite interesting. I'm going to make the screen slightly smaller if I can. There you go. Um, when, when someone signs up to the app, you know, we ask them what they want to work on. So if I say I'm interested in mind, and uh, let's just say positive outlook, and it could be managing stress, depression. We cover over 25 categories to help people, you know, whether it be relationships or um, anything to do with mind, body, and soul. There are you know, key areas of growth. We hit next and we say, um, I've, I've configured a goal, and that can change, so I can reconfigure my goal at any time. If I hit go to my news feed, look, I showed you before. What you can see right now um, is the feed like before. Um, what you've got is at the top of the feed, and this comes up every day, we drive three minutes of consciousness to help someone frame them for the day. So if they said sleep, they'd get it in the evening. Um, and this basically here, by saying mind, um, it's recommended that I do three minutes of watching a video here with Eckhart Tolle. So we've, we've negotiated um, special exclusive content with the best, I would say, experts in the field of personal growth. Uh, and we break it into little chunks of three minutes, which we call snackable content. Because if it's snackable, it's exciting to hear. It's you know you feel good, and that's kind of preventative. So if if people are doing three minutes a day of mindfulness and all these kind of things, you know you can actually frame them and have a better day every day. And it's really key as in as a, the experience. So just by hitting watching the video, I can watch that video. I'm not going to play it now, because we do perks. And I showed you before how that works. We've linked it to a perk. So that, I love that book on uh, Eckhart Tolle, but it's now going to encourage me to do great things, which is uh, read this best-selling book, and I can actually get a huge discount if I shop now, but I'm not going to. And it'll ask me if it's helpful, because we learn from that. So if I liked Eckhart Tolle on a Monday, let's give you more of that on a Monday. Or if I like Anthony Robbins on a Wednesday, let's give you more of that. And every day, we're constantly providing the user uh, data-driven um, uh, wellness, which is pretty incredible. So you can see my progress, and you know what we want to do is encourage and be able to give data um, to you as an HR professional that 70% of your company are interested in depression, and th these guys are doing work on it. So if we can turn the needle and actually trying to help people, you'll actually see it in the admin panel. 
Uh, other things which, you know, talking about posting, you know, that if someone goes into our live section um, on a mobile, you can see that you, you've got access to, to amazing content you, which you can favorite. So if I bet healthy habits and stuff like that, when I go into my newsfeed every morning, you can see there's diet and nutrition tips. So it's making the EAP really cool and daily. So whatever I like and what I'm interested in, if it's be money, work, life, I can read great articles which will all be customized to me, but also they'll come in my newsfeed so it never gets forgotten. Uh, a big part of a employee assistance program is the assistance. So the call us button's there anytime. So if anyone feels overwhelmed or needs guidance and counseling, they can click on this button. It brings up a number, which is a free phone number. We have counseling and a team on staff who are experts in the field 24 seven, seven days a week. Um, and within three rings, someone will pick up the phone and help someone. And we try and help them there and then. But if they need expert counseling to get them over an issue, we organize a local counselor near them to do three sessions or six sessions depending on the model we do. So whatever issue they have, we can really help them and, and get over that. So that's a kind of the insistence. So you know, work perks and life, and that's how it looks on mobile. It's really slick. You've got notifications here to let you know that there's an enrollment period. And we try and, I would say, build a real employee experience where people feel excited um, and feel very, very, I'd say, privileged to have something that they can't get anywhere else. So that concludes the demo on the front end, just to give two minutes on the back end, which is the, the kind of logging in. And this is a dashboard, and this is live. So what you can see right now is adding colleagues is really easy. I can add a colleague to the system by automatically inviting new people. I can We can integrate with the uh, HR systems that are in place or by a, a CSV file, which we use with the account managers, or you can just quickly employ um, in, in, um, bring someone onto the system by adding their email address, which is quick invitations. They get automatically um, notified. So if I wanted to look at uh, colleagues, for example, I can see at any point uh, in, in uh, the system who is on the system. It's just loading. It's a bit slow on the internet. Here it goes. You can see all your colleagues. And I can see who's awaiting approval, pending, and archived. And if there were any colleagues who are awaiting approval, a button comes up here to remind them. So instead of having to think who's on the system, who's off, the whole system is automated. And you can see who's interacting, who's not, to get the best value uh, from, from the service. Um, you can see recognitions. You can see leaderboards. Not only can you see performance, you can see recognizers. And we take that into account. Uh, and we're working on trying to create an engagement score. So who who in the company likes to give recognition, who receives, who's using this digitally the most, who are the most engaged people within the company, um, and who are the people who are least engaged. Uh, and you know, by being able to share that, it makes it really easy for HR to say, well, maybe I should be spending a little bit more time on these individuals because they're more at risk, because they're not really engaged. And you know, by doing that, you you know, you, if you know, we've got some clients who are trying to use a metric like we're going to bring down um, any kind of churn rates by 20%, and we're hitting those. So it's very, very exciting that you've got that data. You can see what the values are in the company, organized but not energetic. So you can see where you might want to put uh, your efforts. You can see what the popular perks are, but they're not appearing. And you can see real time the aggregate spend. And what we do is we provide a savings. So it's every month, and um, there's an automatic email which says your 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 employees have spent this much money and saved this much, um, and how 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 much it works uh, from an ROI standpoint. Typically, what we're seeing is by buying the service just on the perks alone. For every pound spent by HR, um, the employee will receive a seven. Pounds, or for every pound spent to get this, we'll see a seven pound saving at a minimum, tax free back. So we're seeing, a, you know, even if you turned off all the other services, you know, and you're we're buying that one pound includes everything, including the, all the services put together, we're seeing a seven times ROI and a payback from the tax free savings for employees within three months of actually taking the service. Um, and we're so certain on 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 those numbers that we'd even do this on, we can guarantee this will work. Um, and, and you know, priced on that, which is really, really nice to know. And, and that's been completely consistent with all our users because the savings are so great and so well used. Um, all the other areas are so well used too, but you know, it's a, it really is a pay rise uh, from that point of view because um, it's very, very, very widely used across the, the employed population and loved, and it goes quite viral. When something's good, everyone talks about it. We also show engagement stats around recognitions, posts, and picture uploads. So it's being totally transparent um, 
and being able to allow the HR to turn off things, turn on things. We have a whole uh, settings menu here where you can change the invitation styles, change email styles, you can, you can up, update timelines, you can, you can integrate a Twitter feed uh, which automatically comes into, into here. Um, you can change the appearance of the app. You can uh, do all kinds of uh, things for settings um, and account information. So you know that can all be changed and admins, payment histories. So you can actually see who's been paid and what, what kind of things for, for tax on gift cards and all those kind of things. It's all very straightforward. Um, so hopefully, uh, it's an extensive platform. Hopefully you had a little view into what it looks like on mobile, what it looks like on desktop, and what it looks like for a company. Um, and you know, like I said, we have over 15 million users globally with a lot of key um, stats on how it's working. I'm really happy I got to show this to you today, and I'd be very uh, happy to take some questions now um, and get a glass of water. <laughs> There's a, there's a chug there, you can help yourself with the author. Thank you. Um, thank you very much, Jamie. I think that um, it's, it's always great to actually uh, to sort of see the examples. You know, often you hear about how technology is helping this and that, but it's actually great to, to see it um, live and actually see a demo. Um, I particularly liked the, the idea of being able to identify not just the top performers, but those that are actually doing the recognizing as well. Because I think that um, sometimes you can, you know, you can kind of forget them. And, and again, it's those unsung heroes as well. You know, in, in our company, HR Grapevine, we also have sort of a techie side where they don't get the, uh, the you know, it's, it's always harder to recognize them because they're sort of a bit more silent in the work that they do. Um, the first question that I actually had was, I mean, I can see the millennial generation adopting this very, very quickly. Um, it's got a similar social network feel to, to a lot of the other user interfaces. But what about the older generations? How, how do they uh, adopt to this? Well, you know, it, it's interesting. We've built the platform, you know, not with a millennial only in mind. Um, what's interesting is everybody likes shopping discounts and people now, whatever age you are, are used to going online and shopping. <laughs> And doing it easily. So from that perspective, it's the user experience we've we've adopted is something that you'd probably get from an Amazon or an eBay and what you're used to. So we've tried to to make our user experience to akin to what you anyone would use on a daily basis. So it's it's hard to we don't like to bucket, you know, because you're a, not a millennial, you don't know how to use the internet. That's really not not how it is. Um, you know, people love using their phones, people are using apps. Um, millennials difference they maybe can type faster and use more emojis you know <laughs> uh, and but the reality is you know, giving someone a recognition we've, we've kept something you know very much um, built for everybody and inclusive but, but what, what I feel is 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 interesting is for our business and I'll, I'll make it personal um, when we had Work Angel and we merged to make LifeWorks and we're a bigger company, half of our business, and I'd say the North American market, is over the age of 50 and under the age of 65. So we have a, a probably an aging North American um, non-millennial non user base in the States and in Canada. And in the UK, because it's our development hub, I would say that the average age is 23 or 24, <clears throat> and pretty much development and techie. Um, and when we when we put LifeWorks in as our platform to bring our company together, what it did is it enabled those two worlds to collide um, in, in a platform um, which both could use. And we haven't seen, um, hey, this is millennials use it versus you know versus the older uh, population. What we've seen is it it creates a fun way to actually bring them together and gives them something in common. And it's worked really, really well. So I feel that you know, those those worlds have to meet at some point and have have a middle ground. And that's what we've seen. So you know, we haven't seen a usage issue or a non-taker. What we've what we've seen is that it's it's brought everyone together. And you know, where you'd have somebody somebody who's maybe a senior project manager or account manager isolated in Minneapolis who works from home. Um, now gets to see what a iOS developer in London is doing and it makes them feel much more connected to the company actually. So before people were isolated and just did their stuff, now it's like wow look what's going on. Um, and everyone gets to appreciate each other more. Mm. So you know, yeah. it's, 
Yeah. That's 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 what we're seeing. No, it's a big thing, isn't it? Especially if you've got like remote workers and stuff to to be able to link them somehow to the to the rest of the company. I think is is really powerful. Um, and I mean, often HR like I mean you you mentioned it earlier in your presentation is that HR can can purchase this great uh, software or these these great tools and things like that, and then they kind of just collect dust in a corner somewhere, di digital dust, shall we say, um, because they don't necessarily embed it into their company um, successfully. How would you recommend sort of HR to, you know, if they had this, for example, to get everyone, to get all the users, you you know, all the employees actually using it and, and using it to its, its full uh, capabilities? Yeah, so things gather dust because they're isolated. Mm. Um, and what we're promoting is, is the opposite of that. Um, and our system and onboarding um, uh, is very, very strong because it's very digital and there's so many reasons to get it. So someone's either going for recognition or, or wellness and all of these great things or your perks. And because there's so many great things when you get your onboarding email, what we see is participation is well over 90% within 48 hours. Oh, wow. So, you know, onboarding the company very quickly in groups is very, very easy. And because the content, what they get is so uh, engaging and this, you know, whether you're watching an Eckhart Tolle video or you want to shop at ASOS or you want something, there's so much to do. What we find is persistency is over you know, three times a day logging in from, from a user. So that's great. And then once that happens, you know, the things which are gathering dusk, dust, um, they're not needed anymore. And this is my platform versus point solution piece mm. because um, some point solutions will work and they can be great on their own. Um, and they can just about stand up. But most of the things in the HR um, space, what we see is, um, especially around uh, engaging and wellness, um, are very isolated. They promote non-utilization because they've gone in very cheap and just want to get a recurring income for something which probably doesn't provide much value. But it's a tick box anyway, so we can say as a company we did it. But I think you know you can't do that anymore. I think the world mm. now doesn't, um, you know, and employees, you know, where you know an employer could say, "I've just ticked the box for you to have this." That's not what the employee wants. They don't want a box tick. They 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 want to have a user experience. They want to feel part of something. So I think we're we're moving in that way, um, and you know the stats talk for themselves. Talking of stats, I mean you you, you mentioned the ROI. Um, uh, you mentioned the ROI of uh, sort of the, the one pound to seven pound savings in terms of what HR spending. Aside from the savings that employees can make, um, more on sort of the engagement side, the wellness side and stuff. What kind of ROI can can HR use there to sort of justify themselves? I mean, yeah, understood. So so the ROI spans across all of the areas, work life and perks. Um, the the work, I mean. The, the, the perk section, which is around um, ROI we talked about, which is a seven to eight times saving. But on the life section, which is driving help um, for you know uh, counselors and life coaching, what we're seeing is we really can make a dent on presenteeism, absenteeism, um, not only for the person, but for their dependents. The amount of people that call in and say, I have a problem at home, and it's not necessarily me, whether that be family or kids, um, which is really disturbing their work-life balance and making life difficult for them. They can use this service to help that, and that's a huge, huge time saver uh, and stress saver, which can make someone much more productive. Unfortunately, productivity is not a thing you see on a balance sheet or income statement, um, but what we've done is many surveys with our customers like Marriott, uh, and we have case studies to show the actual multi-million dollars of savings we've done from the work we have by helping their employees to grow. So um, there's lots of stats and case studies across everything. Um, and you know, the more prominent these kind of services, which are really important, which is financial help, counseling, uh, recognition, uh, and making them bigger and bigger parts of the organization, the savings will flow through. And it's really clear and we constantly look at ROI analysis across everything. Recognition in this company has really changed everything. The culture has massively changed because you get it, and it really feels good as a user. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I'm biased, but taking that bias to one side, uh, when I get recognition, it comes to the end of the month for the leaderboards and stuff like that, I, do, I am very active. Um, and it feels good to give, and it feels good mm. to receive. And um, you know, it, most companies don't allow a digital way to make it good. And if, the, if you did do it, and the user experience was lousy, 
um, you know, it's kind of better not to do it. It's not what you do sometimes, it's the way that you do it. Yeah. And, and, and this generation really requires something beautiful and nice because, it, you know, that's what we're, we're, we're given by Apple and Google every day. Yeah, no, exactly. It's, it's, that, it's that user experience uh, that's, that's tied in. I mean, is there anyone uh, that with any of their own questions? that uh, There's none that have come through so far, um, obviously during the presentation, but obviously people like to be polite and not interrupt. But has anyone tuned in got any questions for, um, for either of us to, to discuss either the demo or some of the more generic issues that it touches on, such as well-being or recognition? I'll give you, give you a moment. Um, okay, well, get in touch if you do. Uh, one other question I sort of had was around the, the sort of the stigma of the, um, you know, EAP and, and that kind of thing. Um, have you seen that sort of this kind of software has kind of eliminated that that stigma a bit? Yeah, I, I think stigma is created when you know when when the user experience and something is positioned as a stigma product. Um, as you can see with the newsfeed, we're promoting people to use it and we're seeing it as help um, and the ability for people just to um, connect and get support whenever they want. And I suppose, you know, everything is, is all about the positioning around that. We're, we, we're totally eliminating the stigma. I, I put it down to um, just making it beautiful and making it easy and acceptable. Um, which really does that. A good comparison is that there's an, an off, you know, Regis offices are serviced offices which are normally pretty lousy and people don't feel good about having a serviced office. But there was a company called WeWork came out of America and they've got offices all around the UK now and they're growing which make serviced offices cool because they have shared meeting rooms and great communal areas and people are proud to go there and that business suddenly is a 16 billion business and they took the stigma out of, oh, I don't want to be in a serviced office because mm. it's very uncool. They've made it cool and I think what we've done is very similar with the EAP space, which is different, which is taking something that could be uncool if you positioned it that way, but if you position it as something which is a counsellor and life coaching on hand um, and you know people like Eckhart Tolle talking to you every day for three minutes, you make it very cool and I think that's our goal. You know, It's, it's all around um, how you do it. Great. Um, if anybody uh, is interested in knowing more about LifeWorks, you know, we've, we, we, we've got a special promotion. Um, with Grapevine and stuff, so you know we have a website which is lifeworks.com, um, and from there you can write a, 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 an inquiry. And if anything comes in in the next couple of days, we know we've got some special deals going on uh, coming up for Christmas. It's Q4, so um, you would love to 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 see if any anyone on this call would want us to give them a demo and show them how it can work for them in their business. And it would be a pleasure if uh, if anyone gets in touch. We've uh, we've got another question from uh, Lorraine Rind. Uh, excuse me if I've got your name wrong there. Um, how would this work with a very large and diverse organization, e.g. 15,000 plus? Yeah, um, so we've got clients with over 200,000 employees. So we work with banks like RBS who have 40,000, Boots 70,000, Co-op 70,000. So we have um, a number of clients in the UK who are on large groups. We use grouping. So, you know, we if it's diverse, what we do is we you know, you're only going to see things on that news feed which are which are, you know, applicable and relatable to the group so it doesn't become um, noisy like these big sites like Yammer and stuff which are noisy. Um, we make it very, very much controlled by the HR into groups so it's personal. You can split the organization into into how uh, they'll get the service and what parts of the service they'll receive which is what we do for the bigger companies uh, and what we what we find is when there's a diverse workforce especially a remote workforce it brings everyone together um, and we're really suited and I'd, I'd say that you know we were built on enterprise to service the largest customers um, when there's smaller groups it's much easier obviously because uh, less planning and it's uh, plug and play but you know most most of our customers you know are uh, greater than that size in the UK uh, in population so you know we, we service that that sector, um, and it's exciting. Can I ask what what company she's with it with her for fifteen thousand? Um, yeah, Lorraine, if you could get in touch and let us know what kind of what kind of company it is that you're from, that would be great. Um, does Does anyone else have any other questions uh, for? Oh, it's a local government type of company. That was an instant response there. Okay, local. great. 
Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think I think we we sort of managed to answer everyone there. Um, if you have any other questions, then please do get in touch. There will be some contact details and things like that to to get in touch with LifeWorks. Um, but thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the talk. Thank you.